Επόμενη ερώτηση στην κυρία Ινγκα Μποκμπόγκα από το Χρούνα Αμστερντάμα. Καλησπέρα. Είμαι Ινγκα Μποκμπόγκα, Χρούνα Αμστερντάμα, Ταχμνή Ρούτε. In English, right? Um, I have one question for both of you. Um, Prime Minister Mitsotakis, when at last will you stop lying? Lying about the pushbacks, lying about what's happening with the refugees in Greece. Please don't insult mine and neither the intelligence of all the journalists in the world. There has been overwhelming evidence and you keep denying and lying. This is like narcissistic abuse. Why are you not honest? Why don't you say Brussels left us alone? We waited for six years. Nobody did anything. We need to relocate. They don't do it now. I have my say. And yes, I do cruel barbarian pushbacks. Why did you stop knocking on Brussels' door for relocation? Please, the do question. You accept this? And for you, Mr. Rutte, what, according to you, are the sanctions that should be imposed on Greece and maybe on Holland for accepting this violation of human rights that Holland is co-responsible of? Also, many, many municipalities in Holland want to take many refugees from Greece like many minor unaccompanied children. They are ready to accept them, but this Prime Minister opposes to that. So maybe you could find an understanding and the Dutch municipalities who are so ready to unburden Greece can actually take in refugees from Greece, which his government opposes. Thank you. Uh, I understand that in the Netherlands you have a culture of asking uh, direct questions to politicians, which I very much respect. What I will not accept is that in this office you will insult me or the Greek people with accusations and expressions that are not supported by material facts. and expressions that are not supported by material facts. And expressions that are not supported by material facts. and expressions that are not supported by material facts when this country has been dealing with a migration crisis of unprecedented intensity, has been saving hundreds if not thousands of people at, at sea. We just uh, rescued uh, uh, 250 people uh, in danger of drowning um, south of Crete. We are doing this every single day, rescuing people at sea, while at the same time, yes, we are intercepting boats that come from Turkey, as we have the right to do in accordance with European regulation. And waiting for the Turkish Coast Guard to come and pick them up to return them to Turkey. So rather than putting the blame on Greece, you should put the blame on those who have been instrumentalizing migration systematically, systematically, pushing people in desperate situation from a safe country, because I need to remind you that the people who are in Turkey are not in danger. Their life is not, their life, please, please, please. Their, li their life is, is not in danger, uh, and uh, you should put the blame on others and not on us. We have a tough but fair policy on migration. We have processed and given the right uh, to protection to 50,000 people in Greece, uh, including hundreds, tens of thousands of Afghans who have been receiving. Please, please. Allow me. Have you visited the new camps on our islands? Have you been to Samos? Yes, to... I first. No, you have not been to Samos. Yes.
No, please, you have not been. You, you have not been. Uh, look, you will, you will not come into this building and insult me. Am I very clear on this? I'm answering now, and you will not interrupt me. In the same way, and I listen to you very carefully. If you go to Samos, you will find an impeccable camp with impeccable conditions, funded by EU, uh, by EU money, with uh, uh, clean facilities, with playgrounds um, uh, for our children, for the children to play. Uh, no comparison to what we had in the past. This is our policy. We will stand by it, and I will not accept anyone pointing the finger to this government and accusing it of uh, inhumane behaviour.